You're looking at a live picture from the Kennedy Space Center, the Space Shuttle Discovery, and the first potential glitch of the day apparently has just occurred. NASA reporting some sort of master alarm situation, which may cause them to extend the built-in hold which they're in at this moment. Let's go to CNN's John Zarella with details. John? That's right, Miles. NASA is saying they will extend the hold. They do not expect it to be a long hold, but it will be extended because of a master alarm that went off in the crew cabin, the vent system. This all is part of the procedure that we talked about, about why they stay in these holds, so they can run through their final last-minute checks. And during these last-minute checks, a master alarm went off, so now they're running through the system again. It's a cabin vent alarm. They do not believe it's serious. It may just be a sensor anomaly, but they're going to run through the system again, check it out before they pick up the countdown. That's where we stand right now. Miles? All right. I'm listening a little bit to NASA TV right now as you speak, uh, John Zarella. And, of course, this vent check is very, very critical as a spaceship uh, as ascends toward orbit. I, uh, I had heard earlier, I thought, that everything checked out when they closed the hatch. What has changed since? Well, apparently they had at least one alarm go off, and then there were some test conductors saying that perhaps a second alarm had gone off. They did not believe it was a serious situation, but they wanted to take the time now to go back and make sure to check it out to make sure that th this is not a serious problem so they can pick up the count. And again, they have emphasized they do believe that the hold will be extended, but only for a short period of time, indicating they think that it probably just a sensor and they can work through this. Oh. Miles? It, John, just in your dealings with NASA, did you get a sense of the urgency of the problem? If you had to put it on a 1 to 10 scale, what, what would you give it right now? It sounds at this point as if it's just one of those that's probably around a 3. They don't think it's anything very, very significant. Right. They'll get by. But they're always like that. You don't ever get the sense from NASA and all the years I've been covering it that you have a real serious problem right. until they get to the source of the problem and then they find out exactly what they're dealing with. Right. right now, they don't think it is, Miles. Thank you, John Strella. Stand by. Please let us know if you have any more information. Dave Wolf has just been on the phone with the Launch Control Center. Dave, what do you hear? Right. Our in integration and test team tells us that the master alarm went off at the time that the, uh, the probe, uh, the, the pressure check cap was pulled off. The set points are very close. It may have just tapped a set point. The exact data is being evaluated with Kurt Brown, the commander, right now. Uh, likely this is just a close set point, not an indication of a problem. We'll know shortly. All right, but help us understand this for the layperson. They, they're pulling a plug on the, uh, the, the hatch, and there's a pressure drop when they do that. Is that correct? Right. There's a momentary drop in pressure as the cap is, the plug is pulled and the cap is replaced. The system is set to detect the pressure inside the cabin. When it dropped just slightly, it may have just bumped underneath that set point for the alarm system. This may be exactly what was supposed to happen in the situation, uh, given that we had a slight dip in pressure as the cap was replaced. It sounds like it would be an easy problem to troubleshoot. Is that it correct? It sounds that way at this point. We're going to have to let the launch control team do their thorough analysis. Uh, hopefully it won't take long, though. All right. Dave Wolf, Walter Cronkite, standing by here. We will keep you posted, of course, as this continues. Once again, John Zarella is giving it a three on the scale. Dave, would you agree with that? Oh, or, or less likely when we hear the real reason. Now, this may have been due to vent valves changing position in the cabin. They cycle vent valves at this point in time. We have to talk with Kurt Brown with exactly what was going on in the cockpit, compare it to the launch control center data and look at if this was an expected result or not. All right. Once again, a reminder of how complex this spacecraft is. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more continuing coverage of the launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery in just a moment.